welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Today, as you know, probably by the title, we are doing a branded versus unbranded, and I'm here with my mum and my boyfriend as camera boy. <laughs> so, before we get into the video, let's pop a cracker to celebrate Christmas. <laughs> you can't know, I need to think one more. <laughs> So over here we've got our branded and over here we've got our non-branded. Non-branded is Tesco. We've got a few different foods to try. We've tried to go as Christmassy as we possibly can. So the first thing, what do you want to try first? Mm, let's have a drink. A drink, okay. So get your mug. So I've got a little snowman mug here. And for mum, I've got the little reindeer mug. Thank you. So you're going to go first. Okay. okay. Can I shut my eyes now? Yeah. Also, whoever wins this challenge is, of course, as you could see by the title, going to win £1,000. So that one I just poured was... Okay, ready? Okay. You can't touch the mug though, because otherwise you might know. Uh, oh. <laughs> Don't say which one you think it is until after. Okay. Now okay. this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> which one do you think was branded and non-branded? You can open your eyes now. All right. Okay, I think the um, first one was Tesco and the second one was the branded. Wrong! Really? <laughs> this one's branded, this was non-branded. Uh, now it's Michael. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, make sure you, you've got the points. You counted the points. And also, shall I just do this a little bit, or shall I pour it in? <laughs> right, ready? <laughs> right, there's the first one. Have we got some? Mm -hmm. Right, second one come in. Okay, second one. I think second was branded. I don't know which mug you put them in. This is branded, this is not branded. Yeah, that's right. So, one point to me. So, you thought the branded then was non branded? But I only did have a little drop of it because you didn't really put enough in. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing we're going to try then is chocolate orange tarts. So, this is the Mr. Kipling's six chocolate and orange tarts here. And then the Tesco branded, Tesco non-branded chocolate and orange tarts there. So close your eyes. Just gonna cut it in half. So we can have half each. inside of this of the non-branded and this is the inside of the branded and that's the top okay and can you um you know like with the boxes can you put them behind like the plate so when i go to do you i know which one's which as well okay go on so i found it difficult with the last one because obviously i didn't know which was which Go. 
nice pastry. It's quite creamy, that one. Yeah, quite nice Don't taste. do too many descriptions. <laughs> <laughs> what I might know. You ready for the second one? Mm-hmm. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> They're really similar and they're both really nice. Um, I'm going to go with the first one as Tesco. Wrong again. You can open your eyes now. <laughs> Wrong again. No, the oh, first right. one was actually the Mr. Kipling's and the second one was the Tesco. Okay. That's nice interesting. Know. Yeah, I can't do too much descriptions though because okay. obviously I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Right, you ready for your first yes, one? I'm ready. Right, so first one's coming in now, open. <laughs> oh. Mhm. Mm okay. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Are you ready for your second one? Yeah. <laughs> that was a big mouth. <laughs> first one's branded. Yeah. I think I'm losing here. It adds a stronger taste to it. With the second one, there was more pastry. I do like this um, branded one. I'm going to finish that one. <laughs> <laughs> See, I like the pastry on the Tesco one. It was like more crumbly rather than that no. one. I, th I think they were both actually really nice. So the next thing we're going to try are the chocolate. So even though this is rabbit, this is bit obviously it would be the same chocolate if this was a rabbit as well. Just the lint rabbits were out of stock. So I've got a Tesco own branded chocolate reindeer and a lint branded beer. So I'm just gonna break some off and then we'll give it a go. I think I think this one is gonna be really easy, if I'm honest. I, think it's I hope be... I like can see how the difference because I can be very good at to now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be easy. They look too cute though, to like break up. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. You ready? Yeah. I wonder who eats their heads before the bodies. <laughs> Right, <laughs> Ready for next one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not quite a big chunk. <laughs> I'll savour it. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. Do you know yet? Do you not know? <laughs> See, I thought this would be really easy. I think I need water in between. <coughs> no. Mm -hmm. Um, the second one is lint. Second one's lint? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're awful at this. The second <laughs> one. Which was on this plate was non-branded, and this one, as you can still see, his head still Aww. on there. It's branded. <laughs> if you want to get some chocolate out of there, the beer's below. Right. Okay, you ready? This <laughs> are you Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Right, open. I think I know. Alright, are you ready for your second? Yeah. Open. First one's lint. Yeah. That was too obvious. <laughs> so, um, actually I forgot to say that I'll also tell you the prices. So, for the... Um, the chocolate tarts, the Mr. Kipling one was one fifty. And the Tesco's one 
was a pound. So I personally prefer the Mr. Kipling, so I would pay 50p yeah, more. I, I actually like that one as well. They were both nice, but I love the flaky pastry. So yeah, I think if you like sort of like flaky pastry sort of texture, Tesco's is definitely really good like, for that. Yeah. Better for that, yeah. yeah. Um, and the chocolate reindeer, um, let me just find it on the receipt. Yeah, the chocolate reindeer from Tesco was 89p and the lint beer was 125 although obviously in comparison size difference the reindeer was really really nice don't get me wrong I, it's just obviously it's lint chocolate i would like to think i know <laughs> my chocolate i eat it enough and um, but in comparison i would probably get the reindeer just because the lint beer was a lot smaller and obviously the lint reindeers i think they were 250 so in comparison 89p to 250 it does make a difference and the other thing we tried was the coke so far so the Branded Coke was 150 and the non-branded was, I do believe, 65p, but let me just double check. Oh, 50p. So the non-branded was 50p. Personally, I do prefer the branded, but it's not a massive, massive difference. I just think the branded was a little bit more fizzy, and that's why I knew the difference, really. But again, I do drink quite a lot of cherry Coke, so... Right, let's get into the next one now. Um, we've had some chocolate, so I think the next one we should do crackers. Yeah. So we've got Jacob's crackers here and Tesco's own crackers. In the Jacob's selection box, there are actually crackers that look like these, so I'm just going to get these ones. So if you want to close your eyes. Sounds something good. So this is what they look like, this one's branded, this one and this one's non-branded. Right, ready? Yeah. Ready for the next one? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Rushing it. Okay. And this is the next one. Do you have any sort of idea? Mm. I think the second one is the branded. Second one's branded. Mm. You are correct for once. <laughs> <laughs> so the second one was branded, yes. Um, and the price difference, these were £2.50 from Tesco's and these crackers were a pound. Oh, sorry, 76p. These were 76p. And I was just holding it off the screen, but yeah. These were 76p and these were 250 so it makes quite a big difference. Obviously, in this one, the, the, it is 200 grams. And this one, you do get a variety, but it's only 300 grams. So really, it would work out better to work it up to 250 just to get a few different pa packets of yeah, the crackers from the Tesco because they do do lots of like breadsticks or something so it would be worth, more worthwhile for your money but I'll be the a judge of what I think so are you ready? Th that one's the non-branded that one's branded okay. for whichever one you want to yeah. give me okay open <sighs> okay that was quick <laughs> oh my god. That's like a full biscuit. <laughs> it fitted in. <laughs> mm, I think the first one was branded but I prefer the second one. It's, it's funny correct. yeah, it's funny saying that because actually these Tesco snackers were very really, nice. really, really nice. Yeah. I think with the branded the taste was quite nice but a bit blander than the Tesco's. But then the aftertaste has got um, a slight peppery flavour. But yeah. I really like these Tesco's. So I prefer the Tesco ones, these. so yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to try now are the after eights. So we've got the actual after eights here. And then we've got Tesco own mint thins. I think the price difference was quite a lot here. So the actual after eights were £2. But if you have a Tesco... 
Tesco Club card, it was 50p off, so it was £1.50 for the actual after eight. And the Tesco Mint Thins were £1. So there would be a pound difference in them. And the weight of this, if I can find it anywhere, is £300, 300, pounds, 300 grams. grams. Yeah. And the weight is 200 grams. So for an extra pound, you can get 400 grams. So it actually works out better to get these if they're as nice. But we'll be the judge, so ready to close your eyes? I'm quite looking forward to this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've all come out of the little things. Oh, they're little packets. Yeah. Oh. I'll break it in half. There we go. I'm just going to show the camera the actual difference. Oh, so, so I could fit this whole one, one probably. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is a different size to this one, and the texture and everything looks completely different. So we will see if you notice that. I think the first one's branded. Yes, correct, yeah. So the first one's actually got like bridges and stuff on it. Oh yeah. And it's a lot thinner, which is probably going to be really easy for me now because I've not seen it. But anyway, obviously branded, non-branded. Okay, yeah. you ready? Yeah. <laughs> non-branded. <laughs> you have to eat the other one first. Well then. I think though, if you haven't had the branded one or you know what the branded one is like mm. and you have those on the table and you were just eating those I don't think like you would notice as no. much like if someone and they don't come in little pockets but oh they don't do they no they don't Aww. the Tesco's ones okay. but if you like you said if you had them out and they weren't in pockets I don't think you would actually realize unless you had the, the branded one mm. like I only knew then because I knew that the Tesco one was a little bit thick of chocolate, which I do like, but because I'm not a massive, massive fan of mint chocolate, but these are absolutely stunning. I've sort of got into after eights a lot more than I usually have. But yeah, so branded, I do like, but then the Tesco ones, because it's a little bit better for money, especially if you have yeah. like a Christmas party, I was going to say like Halloween lo then. Lo loads of like guests come in and family and friends. It'd be better to get... You the crackers the with these yeah. because that would be really really nice yeah so we got two more items left we got some mince pies and we got some yorkshire puddings because who doesn't like a yorkshire pudding on a christmas dinner um so yeah let's get into it so we're gonna do mince pies next so again i got mr pickling mince pies here and they were one pound fifty and i got tesco owned mince pies here and they were a pound so again there's only 50p difference but it really depends on obviously the taste, etc. And like we said, if you are having lots of people come over or you are really, really like mince pies, you're going to have loads. Obviously, that 50p could make a big difference. So, ready to close your eyes? Yeah. So, first Christmas, my first Christmas, first mince pie. <laughs> Your first my Christmas, Christmas pie. <laughs> so, the first one I'm going to do is this one. I would just take a bite because it, half of it is quite big <laughs> for both of them, yeah. Ready for next one? Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh it's broken in half anyway. Mm, that was very nice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So obviously the second one now is this one you just in a hole. And which one do you think is which? Very similar in taste and texture, so I think I'd go for the first one as branded. Correct. The first one is branded. Mm. And actually, the first one's got um, no like sugar or anything on top, but it's got like a snowflake effect, and the non-branded has got a lot of sugar on top, and there's a star effect on there. Ready. They were both really yeah. nice. Are you ready? Yes. 
In comes the train. I think come in. <laughs> oh. You <laughs> <got> it all? <laughs> I put too much in. A little bit. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. Mm-hmm. After eating all this, it's starting to feel a bit icky. <laughs> <laughs> open. Open wider. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, I love no. a good face when it's eaten. <laughs> What do you think? I honestly don't know. Did you like both of them? Yeah. The second one had more pastry, but the first one had more filling. I'm going to say second one was branded. Yeah. It was. Yeah. So the second one actually, did you sort of think the same? They were very similar. I think the biggest taste difference, I think, is in the, the mincemeat. <clears throat> I think the Kipling one was a bit more fruity. Was yeah. A little bit more fruity than the Tesco's, but they were both really nice. Pastry is really nice on both of them. Yeah. So really that 50p difference. Mm. Like I'd be quite happy with the Tesco's. Rather than, yeah, yeah. Mr. Kipling. But the Mr. Kipling one was nice. Yeah, so. it was nice. And like, if you look, I, I don't know. Can I have a look at the size of them? Yeah. Yeah, so like this one, like you said, this it's got a really nice design on there. So you've got like a star effect, and it's quite chunky, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go for the Tesco's. I think they're a little bit smaller. Yeah, so it's a little bit smaller, and I know you said about like sugar and a star, didn't you? So, yeah. Yeah, but I I think for the price, Tesco's um, mince pies are really good. Okay, so we're now gonna go on to our last item which is of course Yorkshire pudding so we've got Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire puddings here and Tesco's Yorkshire puddings here and um, so Tesco's went for the hearty food coat which is actually like slightly healthier foods so per Yorkshire pudding is 33 calories and per Aunt Bessie's is 57 so we'll look at the size difference as well for the um, Yorkshire puddings, the Aunt Bessie's ones were 155 and these ones were 50p. Okay, and you get five in that. there, yeah, and you get 15 in the Tesco's ones. So we'll have a look at the size difference, how they taste. So five or ten in that one? Five. Oh no, sorry, ten. I've seen five glorious minutes. <laughs> yeah, there's ten in there and fifteen in there, but obviously there's quite a big difference. Quite difference. Price, yeah. So we will see. So the last item is of course the Yorkshire puddings. But before that, actually, I realised that in the crackers we had jokes. We didn't say them. So mine is what do you call a train loaded with toffee? <laughs> what do you think? If you guess the answer before I say it, comment it down below. Train and toffee. Can you think of anything? Choo choo. A train. choo choo train. Yes. Woo! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your go. Right, mine's even better than that. Right, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Right, what animals need oiling? Again, if you want to answer below, stick it in the comments. What? I have no what idea. What animals need oiling? No idea. Mice, because they squeak. <laughs> That's actually <laughs> quite funny. <laughs> Little famous, like. For a cracker joke. Yeah, for a cracker <laughs> joke. Right, anyway, we'll now get actually on to the video. So these ones here are the branded Aunt Bessie Yorkshire puddings. They are a lot bigger, as you can see, than the non-branded Tesco ones. So we're obviously just going to rip them and then bite, because otherwise we're going to know. So, you ready? Yeah. Is this still quite hot? Um, no, they're not too bad. Okay. And go. Do you think you know from that one? Mm -hmm. 
And if you can hear crunching, <laughs> it is, of course, Ryan in the background crunching on Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> Ready? Mm. I almost forgot them, but all tried them. And <laughs> um, what do you think's what? Mm. I think the second one was a branded at Bessie's. No. Really? The second one was unbranded, yeah. Oh, that's a shock. I, I think this is going to be quite easy, but I said that and then I got it wrong, didn't I? I can't remember. Right. Right, you want to be first yeah. one? Mmm, <laughs> what a good Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> one was branded yeah yeah I just thought that because these are smaller so the first one was a lot like um it had a bit more like not crunch to it and I prefer Yorkshire okay. pudding without crunch, crunch. Uh -huh. and this one because it's bigger has more crunch so that's how I knew so what about taste though rather than just texture prefer the first one prefer the non-branded to branded but then if I maybe I had the bottom of the brand oh, so it wasn't so so crunchy I'll be honest, it tastes exactly the same on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> so for the difference between 50p and 155 and 135, and what yeah, I say is 155. Yeah, 155. It makes quite a big difference, really. But then they are twice the size, so it just depends really on... Like, these would be quite good to make little mini Yorkshire pudding. Or put, like, a little sausage in yeah, there. Yeah, put, like, sausages in and stuff. Yeah, because there's hardly anything in the taste difference, is there? No, exactly. But yeah, um, I really, really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I will put everything that we tried today down below with the prices for you in case, obviously, you do want to go out and get any over Christmas. But I hope you enjoyed today's Vlogmas and with my guest co-star, my <laughs> mum. And, of course, my camera boy, Ryan. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy and I really, really look forward to seeing you in my next video tomorrow. Bye, guys! Bye, guys!